So I've got a story this morning, and the story is the story of the secret of Simon's transformation, okay? So that's my story this morning. Um, and uh, you can thank um, Leonardo for this. I really love what's happening in our world at the moment. So here we go. This is the secret of Simon's transformation. Simon loved mucking around at school, okay? He loved... Um, having fights too, and he would get into fights and do all sorts of crazy things. Now, I know you wouldn't do that, boys and girls, but Simon did. He would get into trouble at school. He even refused to spell his name correctly. He'd put a double M instead of an I, and he was mad. He was just a crazy boy, and he misbehaved at home as well. That was what Simon was good at. He disobeyed any time he wanted to, and he just kept getting into trouble. He even used to eat whatever he wanted to eat. And um, he thought he was so smart and so clever doing all of this, but he kept getting into trouble. And over time, Simon, it, it was true that Simon had a wee little problem. And day by day, things started to go wrong. With everything he did, he began to feel not so good. Morning, Rachel. And his mind was a little troubled by things. Do you think he might have been, you know, being too nasty sometimes? I think he was. He told so many lies to so many people to get out of trouble that he couldn't remember who he was telling lies to. Oh, and, and, and worse, he couldn't remember what was true anymore. He was just so full of lies and, and that was starting to eat him out on the inside. And look, he's starting to look, well, he's even lost an eye. So Simon was in trouble. What started as fun soon became so, so bad. And Simon was in real trouble. He thought it was just a bit of fun, but it hurt his parents and hurt his friends. And now... It was hurting him. Oh, it's not nice to be Simon. He didn't feel so well. He was very sorry about all that he had done, right? So what we've got here, I've got, I've, I need some helpers up here. Um, oh, there we go. There's your color. And here we go. So this, is, this represents Simon at the start of the story. And then Simon started doing some really nasty things. So we're going to do some nasty things to this, right? We have to draw on it. We have to draw sad faces. We've got to draw the kinds of things that Simon did. So grab a pen. Andrew, you might like to help as well. Set the pace. And these are all the things that Simon did that were wrong. So, you know, maybe he's got a sad face. Maybe he's doing some really nasty things. And, and all of these things are just going absolutely wrong. He's telling lies. He's, he's getting into fights. He's beating up people. And, and there's another pen here. We've got, to, we've got to get this one working. And then we've got to write on the back as well. It's just like he's just, he's just been so naughty for so long. And this is Simon, right? This is what he's been doing. Now, of course, boys and girls, you wouldn't be like this, would you? You wouldn't tell lies to your mum and dad. You wouldn't misbehave at school, would you? No, no, of course not. Oh, good. I'm glad we got that sorted, right? Um, so he was really sorry for all that he did, right? Oh, he made enemies and he hurt people. He did all of those things. And then as Simon was doing all of those things, one day, now all dirty and grubby. Now, let's have a look at that. Let's see if we... Is there someone who is about that size you can put the T-shirt on? Who's about that size? Yeah, yeah, go on. Try it. Try it on. See how it goes. Yeah. There we go. Yep, just in the bucket. There we go. Great. Oh, there we go. All dirty and grubby. Look at that. Oh, what a grubby little grot. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if that's allowed in church, but there we go. Now it is. Um, and there was no friends. All the friends just disappeared because Simon was being such a nasty person. Wasn't Simon being so nasty and terrible all the time? Well, Simon, Simone, uh, something like that. And one day, Simon met a really kind man who changed everything, even though he didn't deserve it. The man was Jesus. And guess what Jesus did? Jesus took his dirty clothes off. So you better give me those dirty clothes. Yeah, I know. We, we, yeah. 
that's it. We took the dirty clothes and, and he just sort of took them and, and, and threw them away somewhere. And then he washed them in his kindness. So I guess we've got to get here into the bucket. And we've got to give that a little wash in the bucket here with some kindness. And, and we'll wash that in the kindness. And then, and then he gave him a brand new one. And, and with the brand new one, the, there was now he was all clean and he had new clean clothes. You can drop that on. And, and he had no guilty conscience and he wasn't feeling bad anymore. And, and as a result of that, he just had smiles and happiness in his heart. And as a result of that happiness in his heart, he, he was actually had Jesus in his heart. And now Simon eats healthy to take care of his body. He actually shares his toys to take care of his friends. And he obeys his parents to take care of his mum and dad. And he even brushes his teeth before going to bed so he can take care of his smile. And best of all, his special friend, because Jesus is only ever a prayer away in his life now, and he's discovered all of that. So thanks for listening so well this morning, boys and girls, and thanks for joining in our fun story today. Really appreciate that so much.